Hello everyone, in this video I want to properly introduce you to my two little froggies. This is Lima Bean, about one and a half years old, and this is Matcha, who's almost a year old. Not just do they live rent-free in my head, but also in my house. They have a big glass tank right under the stairs, and Matcha just loves climbing up those walls, just waiting for me to pick her up. Once I do that, she just doesn't want to let go, cause she loves sitting on my warm human hand. But you can't do that for too long, because human hands are oily, and that's not good for the frog. So always make sure to wash your hands without soap before you touch frog, or you can just wear gloves. Now let's see if Matcha wants a worm. <laughs> As you can see, frogs attack really fast, and sometimes they mistake your fingers for food as well. However, they don't have teeth, just as most frogs, so it won't hurt. My frogs in particular are white tree frogs, native to the Australian rainforest. Now let me put Matcha down here real quick and show you the whole setup. Since the frogs need a lot of humidity, additionally to the water dish and spraying, I've built a fogging system that will be activated automatically a couple times a day to raise humidity in the tank. Below the tank is a little manual if I'm on travels so my family always knows what to do, and there's also a heat pad so it's always warm enough for the frogs. This is a solution to make tap water safe I put into the water dish and some additional vitamins to put on the food. Now speaking of food, I think my froggies are hungry. But before we feed them, I want to show you where they sleep. So Matcha sleeps up here inside of this large bamboo stick. Oh, there's a little poop there, let's ignore that. Little Limey, however, sleeps in this little house over here. Now, time for some food. And now you know my two little froggies. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next video. I hope you'll have a very froggy day. Goodbye.